This is Akashvani. The news read by Balsa Williams. Prime Minister of Jamaica Dr Andrew Holness has arrived in New Delhi on a four-day visit to India. Union Minister Pankaj Chaudhary received him at the airport this morning. This is the first ever bilateral visit of a Prime Minister of Jamaica to India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Jamaican Prime Minister have met several times on the sidelines of multilateral meetings. Both the leaders will hold delegation level talks tomorrow. A number of MOUs are expected to be signed giving a fillip to bilateral cooperation. The visiting dignitary will also call on President Draupadi Murmu and Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar as also other dignitaries and interact with trade and industry leaders. India and Jamaica share strong historical and cultural linkages reflected in their shared colonial past, values of democracy and freedom and passion for cricket. This visit is expected to bolster bilateral relations, enhance economic cooperation and solidify the long-standing bonds between Jamaica and India. Legendary actor Mithun Chakravarti will be honored with Dada Saheb Phalke Award at the 70th National Film Awards ceremony next month. Announcing this in a social media post, Information and Broadcasting Minister Ashwini Vaishnav said, "From the streets of Kolkata to cinematic heights, Mithun Das's remarkable cinematic journey inspires generations." He said that Dada Saheb Phalke's election jury decided for this top award in Indian cinema for Mr. Chakravarti for his iconic contribution to Indian cinema. Speaking to media Mr Chakravarty expressed happiness on receiving the news he dedicated the award to his family and fans across the world Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated actor Mithun Chakravarty on being conferred the Dada Saheb Phalke award in a social media post Mr Modi said Mr Chakravarty is a cultural icon admired across generations for his versatile performances The Central Bureau of Investigation CBI has arrested 26 key operatives of a highly organized cyber crime network involved in fraudulent activities targeting victims globally. CBI arrested these accused after conducting coordinated multi-city searches at 32 locations to dismantle a major technology-enabled crime network. CBI said the network targeted citizens especially in the United States of America through impersonation as technical support services and committed cyber fraud Voting for the third and final phase of assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir will be held tomorrow elaborate security arrangements have been put in place for smooth peaceful and incident free polling 40 assembly constituencies spread over 7 districts will go to polls in this phase out of which 16 are in Kashmir division and 24 in Jammu region more than 39 lakh voters will decide the fate of 415 candidates in this phase the polling will begin at 7 am and will conclude at 6 pm counting of votes will take place on the 8th of october along with haryana In a social media post Home Minister Amit Shah said yesterday Congress President Mallikarjun Kharge outperformed himself as leaders and his party in being absolutely distasteful and disgraceful in his speech at a public meeting in Jammu and Kashmir he said in a bitter display of spite Mr Kharge unnecessarily dragged Prime Minister Narendra Modi into his personal health matters by saying that he would die only after removing Mr Modi from power the Pro- uh, home minister said it just shows how much hate and fear these Congress people have of PM Modi that they are thinking of him constantly Mr Shah said as for the health of Mr Kharge Mr Modi prays he prays and everyone prays that he lives a long and healthy life while addressing an election rally in Jasrota Jammu yesterday Mr Kharge had suffered a syncopal attack but resumed his speech after a brief pause saying he won't die before PM Modi is removed from power In Bihar six additional teams of NDRF have been brought from Ranchi and Varanasi in view of the grim situation of flood in the state these additional teams have joined with existing 12 squads of NDRF and 22 SDRF deployed in flood ravaged areas flood waters entered in several new areas today as water discharge from Kosi and Gandak is reaching different river systems In cricket Bangladesh resumed their first innings at 107 for 3 against India on fourth day of second test match at Green Park Stadium in Kanpur this morning and with that we end this news bulletin